Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about something that I was asked to talk about a little while ago when I was doing a few videos on detriment, um, fall, exaltation, dignity, those videos. Um, someone asked me, would I do a video about the moon in detriment or um, the moon in fall? So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I apologize for it being really dark. It's because it's later in almost evening and um, Usually I'll put the light on here, but it's like too bright. It just doesn't work and I don't have a ring light at the moment. So um, in this video, firstly, I'm going to start with what it means to have the moon in detriment in Capricorn. So what I'm going to first talk about, you know, the meaning of it, but then I'll talk about what I've observed and especially with people I know that have this moon sign for Capricorn. And then I'll talk about Scorpio. So first of all, detriment means that it's not it's obviously not a strong placement for that moon to be in the moon is our emotions our sense of security and stability you know a big part of who we are how we find comfort how we express our emotions okay and how and a lot of also our psychology as well with the moon sign how we process our emotions and with uh, capricorn moon you know it's ruled by saturn it really puts a dampener on the emotions and you know a lot of people that have a capricorn moon can feel it, with it being detriment that they 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 tend to sort of feel like they don't quite get where they want to go in some aspect of their emotional life okay so they can feel like they're really pushing or striving or trying so hard but they always fall short and usually you know with the moon in detriment it's a frustration for the emotions okay so it's a it's a big frustration for the emotions with the moon in capricorn where it's like you cannot seem to attain your desires in some way and um you know oftentimes people with the capricorn moon were placed in a position as a child as you know because the moon is your is your inner child as well and your childhood also you know what you experienced in your childhood with a saturn ruled moon with a capricorn moon you would have experienced in childhood some pressure from either your father or your mother or both or a very strict upbringing or a feeling that you had to step up in your life in your family life in a way that just didn't quite feel comfortable or natural for you it may have felt unnatural to take on so much responsibility or to feel like you had to look out for your parents you know sometimes some with a capricorn moon can feel like they had to um, be very aware of one parent because of various reasons maybe that parent is really strict and you couldn't put a foot wrong and if you did put a foot wrong you were criticized um, and you know or it can be that you were expected to do a lot you know that you're expected to um, pull your your weight in the house by doing a lot of chores and it wouldn't just be like normal chores it would be a lot more work you know a lot of responsibility being put on you at a young age which would have just not felt comfortable you know um, also Capricorn moons can feel hard done by a lot they can feel like things are just not the way that they expect them to be and it is a rigid energy being sat and ruled so sometimes as a Capricorn moon you may have to check in with your expectations about life like maybe your expectations for your life are a bit too rigid because it's satin satin ruled and i'm not saying that as a criticism because lord knows capricorn moons do not need more criticism but sometimes once what i've noticed with capricorn moons and i know they have a very high expectation of things and yet they just keep experiencing disappointment and it's like they keep putting these um, expectations on the reality and not sort of accepting the reality for what it is and then sort of trying to make things um, in their life open up in a new way or try a different path. They tend to get very holding on very tightly uh, because Capricorn moons tend to want the status quo. They tend to want that security and that familiarity as well. Similar to Earth, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus can be like that too. They tend to hold on to um the structure of their life and they don't really like the chain the change or changing it unless they are the initiators of that change um, and then when they're the initiators of that change they can question themselves and have a lot of self-doubt on the emotional level so just in a very sort of technical perspective detriment means it is not a good place for the moon why is it not a good place for the moon because the moon is in its domicile in its ruling placement in cancer the opposite sign is Capricorn so you know cancer is very comforting energy it's a very nurturing energy it's naturally expressive it's in its natural 
you know expression in cancer and the exact opposite sign being capricorn it doesn't have the self-nurturing qualities it doesn't have the ability to truly listen to the intuition and be guided by your intuition it's more things should be this way and they should follow this kind of these rules and these regulations and this structure and then it's going to make sense but emotions don't always operate like that emotions are much more fluid and intuitive and it's almost like when you have a capricorn moon you're putting these rigid constructs on emotion and it doesn't always work for you unfortunately um so capricorn moon people and i have a whole video on capricorn moon which i did years ago when i first started my channel back in 2012 may 2012 i started my channel videos are very old but they're still relevant if you want to learn more about capricorn moon i'll go into that in that moon sign series that i did all those years ago but um the thing is with capricorn moon i've noticed people with capricorn moon can tend to sort of have this feeling of being hard done by or feeling that they're hard done by in life for some reason um and then you've got the moon in fall in scorpio now the moon in fall in scorpio is a very intense placement um usually these people have some kind of trauma from the childhood or earlier life even past lives that needs healing in this life and the thing is if you don't go through some kind of addressing of your inner you know, core wounds of your issues you're always going to be carrying that emotional wound around with you that is the pain the deep buried pain of the scorpio moon so the reason it's in fall is because these people can be quite debilitated quite you know um affected by their early life and it can cause them so much pain that there's a there's a lack of objectivity they're just so sort of absorbed in their own experience of what they're experiencing side they tend to sort of look at life sometimes with a filter of this pain of this negativity of this kind of limit limiting sort of belief similar to you know there is a limiting belief aspect with the capricorn moon which is related to self-doubt the limiting belief with um the moon in fall in scorpio is and again why is it in fall it's opposite as well to exaltation which is taurus where that's a very stable moon sign but fall in um, scorpio is an energy of not just a simple of self-doubt which they may suffer from like the capricorn moons but it is more of just fear absolute fear of pain and fear of loss and fear of experiencing a trauma that they experienced before and this may not be conscious it can be very subconscious so because the moon in scorpio is very very deep the pain of a moon in scorpio actually goes extremely deep inside so you know these people may have for example their the sun sign appearance of what the hell they go about their daily life but there's another side to them that is very deep and can be very dark and unless they've worked on their issues and they've um, transformed because that's a key word with scorpio is transformation so um it's in fall because these people have um, a journey you know to go through and it's the journey of going through the underworld because it is pluto ruled and the journey into the underworld is no easy journey and it's no light light-hearted matter it's a serious journey of self-discovery but the thing is to you know to actually be in touch with your emotions as a scorpio moon can be very painful so sometimes these people will switch off their emotions and be numb to their emotions or just kind of um ignore the emotional side or pretend that they don't have an emotional side and just that can be very dangerous i think for a scorpio moon to do that because they tend to then exist only in the mind and they're disconnecting um they're, they're having a disconnect there between the mind and the heart and that that's a dangerous place to be because it's it's not really knowing yourself so there's a need to go within into the pain and do some kind of healing work do some kind of you know they might need to when they're aware if they're aware that they're experiencing a pain and projecting pain onto others or creating pain in their life or chaos or whatever it is um, because of negative emotions from the past you now the moon is associated with the past okay so with the scorpio moon it's pain from the past once that's healed this energy can be quite powerful in a positive way but the thing is one has to to have the courage to, have to take that journey into the darker aspects of self to find the truth of self to find what is really there and there can be almost a terror to go into that or just a fear or a feeling like well i don't need to go into that you know but the thing is what you resist persists 
if if you're a Scorpio moon and you experience a lot of negativity in your external world or a lot of uh, chaos or a lot of um, you know darker issues or fears on a constant basis or living out of fear and not actually living then there's something there that needs to be addressed so that's why it's in four because it's a it's a really difficult journey to journey into the underworld of self and i have to say women with this placement tend to, to find it an easier experience i'm not saying it's easy easier than men only because women are more naturally in touch with their emotions as a as a rule like as a general rule and so you know men are taught to be more cerebral and to you know be tough and you know in our society there's a lot of this patriarchal rubbish that teaches men you know to be you know have that kind of like disaffected attitude like oh that's not going to affect me but the fact is there's a lot going on in there that needs to be you know sometimes expressed and if you're if you've got a Scorpio moon and you're not expressing your true self and you're not feeling in touch with your emotions and you don't know what you really feel that shows that there's a disconnect that needs healing there so um moon in fall is not an easy placement at all um and it's definitely a moon sign that needs a lot of healing i would say and just like if you have it can be like if you have another moon sign but it's got a strong conjunction with pluto so you could have like a virgo moon it's conjunct pluto you could have um a sagittarius moon and it's conjunct pluto and you would still because because of that contact with that planet that represents you know descent descent into hades into the underworld you need to do that work that to purge out what's within you and sometimes it's a process you know we never stop healing in a way to reveal you know the truth of ourselves and i say that really more for people that are confused or you know don't know what's going on or don't know what their purpose is or feel disconnected you know there's something there that needs to be looked at so there's probably a lot of work to do if you've got a scorpio moon and if you're a um, capricorn moon and your life really if you're in a rut because capricorn moons can get into ruts where they don't want to change anything but they're very unhappy um you need to make a change and and face your life with some courage and and see what you can change that's practical in a gradual way to you know get yourself out of any negative situation and you know probably even more than ever this is very appropriate for capricorn moons because pluto's been in your sign and will be for quite a number of years yet still so anyway i hope that video is helpful thanks for watching guys if you have comments or questions please post them below and i have done other videos about um exaltations dignity for venus and um, mars if you want to check those out on my channel thanks guys bye